How you doing, Sadie? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thanks. I really enjoyed the movie. I watched it about about six hours ago, so it's very fresh in my mind. Um, what was it when you first kind of got the script, or you kind of first had kind of conversations with the kind of filmmakers or agents about this? What was it ma that made you think, right, this is this is one for me? Um, well, when I first read the script, I, I honestly the story really stood out to me. Um, I. I feel like this is a story I haven't seen told, especially in this way. Um, it really intrigued me that it's, you know, like a, a very effective psychological thriller. And then those are my favorite movies. Um, and it's very suspenseful and it's very engaging, but it's also got this like amazing heart um, and amazing and important and very real story that it's telling at the same time. So it's kind of a genre bending um, and it feels like a way to get people to listen. Um, to this story in a way that's still entertaining and digestible, but in a way that brings awareness to something that's so important. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those films where you're constantly trying to second guess what's gonna happen, what people's motives are. Can you recall your first experience when you did read the script? Did you go on that kind of same journey that we then go on as an audience when we watch the film? Yeah, um, yeah, it was definitely like that. You, you really don't know. I, I wasn't sure where the ending was gonna take us. Um, when I first read the script, mm. I, I feel like I, I like the ending that um, Augie chose. I think it's it's fitting for the movie to leave it very open-ended um, in that way. Mm. Um, but yeah, I had no idea. I was like, what what's gonna what's gonna happen? But I love movies like that where you can't trust your characters. Like that's so fun. I'm gonna call him Augie as well because everyone else seems to be, and I just feel like it's a cool. I know, I know. I I'm but I it's the best. <laughs> Um, Ezekiel was so he, he I mean to say he gave sort of a, um, Augie high praise would be an understatement he seems to think we're, we're, we're witnessing the kind of the birth of a real great in cinema I mean he had such high praise for him I mean you what was he like as a collaborator here is that would you echo those those sentiments Augie or Ezekiel oh Augie Augie <laughs> yeah I um I was very impressed by Augie he um I mean for the, this to be your first feature film like that's that's very impressive and he had a very clear idea of what he wanted um but yet at the same time was incredibly collaborative I really really liked his um directing style especially you know this this being his script that he wrote a lot of times people will be very married to the script or very particular but he was super collaborative and really excited to just get everybody's ideas um he just wanted to make the best film he could whatever that meant even if that meant, you know, changing things here and there or uh, changing the lines here and there. And so he really encouraged his actors to play around. We did a lot of improv. Um, we did some rehearsing before um, just to get just to get into the groove and to get to know each other. It was just a very intimate form of filmmaking and storytelling that I, I really enjoyed. Um, small crew, small cast, small environment of the house. Like it, it was just I think it made for um, a great environment, especially for a film like this. Yeah, it was a quite a unique shoot in that regard. Cause I mean, you were, it was pretty much just one location that, that you shot on. I mean, how do you keep things interesting on, on on kind of on a shoot like that every day? Cause you haven't got the kind of usual, not distractions, but often you're shooting in different studios in different locations in different parts of America or the world. How was it kind of going to the same place every day? And, and how did you kind of, yeah, keep things fresh on, on set? I mean, we well, first of all, we only shot for three weeks, so it, it still felt fresh in a way. But also, I think having that familiarity and that intimacy um, on the set was exactly what we needed. I mean, we would come on the set every single day, and I knew every single person who was there. Normally, there's a huge crew, and I can't always, you know, interact with everybody, but it was like a family. Everybody was excited about, you know, you know, the scenes that we were doing that day and made for a very nurturing and comforting environment, especially for more dramatic scenes. Um, you could really be vulnerable. So I honestly think it was the ideal situation for a movie like this. And I mean, Miranda Otto is such a great actress. How, how is she as a, as a mom? <laughs> She's great as a mom. Um, I had a lot of fun with her playing mother and daughter. Um, we really wanted it to feel super authentic and super like just to feel familiar to the audience. Um, and that was helpful because she, she was really great um, in terms of feeling, making sure things felt really free and genuine um, and not like getting stuck on anything. So she was trying new things and adding things in and that made me feel comfortable to kind of do my own spin. And she would, you know, it, we just collabed really well. And I, I really enjoyed working with her. Um, I always enjoy working with, you know, older, more established actors. I always feel like I take something away and 
I definitely did this time too. She was a great mom in Talk to Me. Did you see Talk to Me when it came out this year? I did, yeah. Oh, it was. I, th- I honestly think it's the scariest film I've seen in about ten years. That one. Um, <laughs> I mean, you've got some really big credits now to your name, particularly as well, not just in film but in TV. Is there is there one that you'd say you're kind of getting recognised for most? Which, which would you say generates the most amount of sort of fan interaction? Well, honestly, um, because the strike is going on right now, like I'm just very grateful to be able to promote this movie. Um, thankfully, they gave us an interim agreement so that the the yeah. actors can promote it um which is so essential especially for movies like this that are true indies um yeah so hopefully we get some some great fan interaction from this one I, do you think it's really important at this kind of because i was going to say looking at your kind of credits and some of the roles you've taken on they're quite a lot of them are quite different from the last that you're quite it's quite sort of they're quite difficult to kind of second guess of which kind of type of character you're going to play which is a great great thing is it quite important at this stage in your career do you think to keep trying different roles and different sort of projects to kind of show off that range and also just avoid being known for anyone any one type of thing yeah definitely i'm I, i'm definitely um interested in kind of dipping my toe in everywhere. I, I love all, all genres of film and TV. So I kind of want to try it all out. Like I don't want to ever get stuck into one thing. Um, so yeah, I definitely like to choose my projects based on um, them feeling different than the last. So would you have like a, a game plan? Do you ever think ahead like where you want to be in five years time or what sort of role you want next? Or do you just kind of follow the best parts and the best stories and just see see where it takes you? Yeah, um, I have a, I have certain things that maybe um, I hope to do one day, certain bucket list things. Um, but it is also about like what what's out in the world right now. Like um, now that our writers are um, back in the room, it's very exciting. I can't wait to see what they what they come up with. And um, yeah, I just love storytelling in general, so I'm kind of down for anything. I also would like to try my hand at producing at some point too. I was going to say, has Augie given you any kind of um inspiration to one day step behind the lens and try directing i know it's very early days but so it is quite a you know a lot of actors kind of do find their way into that realm at some point directing is something that definitely scares me a little um but it, it, maybe that's a good thing maybe I, maybe that means i should do it um but yeah it's, it's very fun especially in a, a small crew small cast indie like this one um i get to ask a lot of questions i get to hover and um augie was really nice and, and let me hover and let me ask questions and um let me learn a lot on that set those are the sets that i learned the most on so i'm grateful for that so just very finally my final question before i go because i just interviewed ezekiel before that guy's got he's brimming with kind of confidence he's got which is in a really good way kind of he really believes in himself i just wondered about working with him because a lot of your i mean the majority really of your kind of sort of bigger scenes in this are just sort of one-on-one with him what was he like because obviously this is a big sort of first breakthrough role for him and he's pretty impressive <laughs> I'm I'm really really happy for him. I'm so excited for him. This was an amazing amazing feature debut for him. Um, mm-hmm. just right for him. I mean, I also because the story is so personal to him as well. Um, he really knocks it out of the park in this movie. I think. Um, I was very impressed by him when we were working together. It felt very natural. It felt very easy to work with him. So I'm so excited for people to see his face and know his name. And I can't see can't wait to see what else he does. Cool. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Sadie, and best of luck with the release of the movie. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Again, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!